NRL.com is here with Blues coach Laurie Daly. Laurie, no doubt this is the most important series for the Blues. Uh, are you starting to feel the weight on your shoulders? Oh no, just um, really excited that it's um, finally starting to get here. Um, counting it down, um, five weeks yesterday and um, I, I'm just really looking forward to it. I think it's a, it's a wonderful time of the year. Um, everyone loves the, uh, the physicality of a state of origin battle and two states uh, going at each other and um, that just adds all to the, the theatre and the drama of it. Obviously you're still analysing your side and, and a few decisions are, are there to be made. The number six, that's still open. Tell us where your thoughts are at at the moment. Yeah, I'm sort of in a fortunate situation that we've got a number of guys that um, if selected could, would do the job and um, it, it's a good situation to be in. Um, I'm very happy with the way that they're all playing and, and it's going to be a tough job because um, you know, whoever um, gets the job will deserve it but um, the guys that miss out um, um, will be unlucky. So it's just one of those situations where it's good to have that, that, that pressure and it's good to have um, the attention on, on who, who that player will be because um, um, it'll be a tough decision and whatever way we go, hopefully people will rally behind the decision and rally behind the, the team and, and um, you know, fill this great stadium up and, and that's our goal is to have 80,000 people here and cheering the Blues on and uh, that would be worth you know, extra points to us. You had the chance last week to um, watch Josh Reynolds and Todd Carney go head to head. What were you hoping to see from that game and, and what were your thoughts on that? Yeah, just uh, the way that they competed uh, was, was, was great. Um, I thought uh, Todd played terrific in a losing side and couldn't have done much more. Um, and Josh Reynolds played like we always expect him to and that's just to compete on every play and, and get the best out of himself and um, I thought it was a great battle and they both showed me that they wanted to be a part of Origin and um, I know that um, if, I, if I have to use uh, those guys um, that they can do a job and, and um, you know, Todd played well last year and is the incumbent. Uh, Josh is a young up and coming player but um, yeah, both, uh, both uh, played very good. I know there's a lot of talk around James Maloney as well. What will it be out of those three guys that, that will be the decision-making point for you? Um, I, I suppose um, f for me it'll just come down to, um, to what's best for the side and, 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 and how we want to best play um, Queensland. Um, and, and what the requirements are. So they've all got different talents and they're all um, different, different sort of styles of players. So it'll be the one that'll sort of best suit the way we want to play. So that's something that uh, I'm looking at over the, um, over the coming weeks. How much does the Mitchell Pearce factor come into play there and, and his pairing with Maloney at a club level? Yeah, obviously um, Mitchell will be halfback and um, um, you know, it's, a, it's an advantage, I suppose, for James that, that the combination is there, but that's not the be-all and end-all. It will be based on who we think can, can best do the job that we want them to do. Um, and he's playing really good football, James, so, yeah, it'll be a tough one because um, they're never easy making um, these type of decisions, but um, whichever one we, we go with, um, we hope it's the right one. It will be the right one. Uh, two years ago, Ricky decided to um, bring back Minicello, Minicello and give him a, a second run at Origin. What about guys like Willie Mason? You know, will he be the comeback king this year? Um, never say never. Um, and I've made it quite clear that um, you know, front row is still a position that, that's open. Um, and Willie has been part of New South Wales uh, in the past when they've been successful. And I know what Willie can bring to a, a footy team. So. Uh, I would never rule anyone out at, at this stage and anything's a possibility. He has been really trying to push himself out there and, and get noticed again to show that he, he wants those big spots, he wants to get right back into rep footy. Yeah, and I think he'd handle it. Um, so for me, I know what Willie can bring and he doesn't have to prove anything to me. Um, um, I, I know that if I need to call on Willie, uh, then he can do a job for me. So, um, um, and we'll, we'll, we'll track, you know, other people's performances over the coming weeks and, and see where we're at. Is up front becoming a bit of a challenge trying to make those decisions? Um, yeah, I suppose, um, given that, um, you know, we, 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 we're, we, 
you know, with, with Gal, he's played front row and he's played back row over the last um, couple of series and probably enjoys playing back row more than, than front row. So that's probably a, a decision that we have to make, where, where we're going to play him. And once we work out where we're going to play him, uh, I think um, everything else will fall into place. But, um, yeah, again, that's something that we'll, we'll, we'll have a look at in a couple of weeks. Are there any in particular that are on your radar? Oh, there's a number of guys that I've been impressed with, you know. Um, you know, James Tamo, um, I thought Tim Grant and Aidan Tolman has been playing some really good football along with uh, Mason and uh, Aaron Woods, young front rower from the, the Tigers. Um, so, yeah, we've got plenty of depth in that area and, again, if I had to call upon any of those guys, um, I wouldn't hesitate. So what do you now do with the next couple of rounds of football? What are you looking out for when you watch those games? Oh, just their mentalities and, and um, um, you know, their approach to the game and, um, you know, guys that, that um, uh, want to play for 80 minutes and compete. And that's a big thing for me is um, compete regardless of, of uh, what the situation is. So they're little things that, that I'll look at and, um, and assess their performances uh, on, on, on that because I, I know they can all run and catch and kick and pass and, and all that but I just want to see how they react under pressure and you know how they react when things are going good and, and not so good. Some big decisions to make and um, you know this series we want to stop Queensland from winning their eighth. Um, it's going to be a tough challenge but how much is the crowd's involvement going to really help um, New South Wales make it? Oh it'll be great um, you know that's what we are calling out for is to people get behind this team, um, get in and buy your tickets early and, and get out here and support us and make um, it, a, it, a, it, a, it a tough place to, to play at. Um, we need your support um, if we're going to stop this Queensland team and um, you know we, we want everyone um, to be out here um, to watch this team run around because if it's a packed house uh, I'm sure that may be the difference between winning and losing. Laurie thanks for joining us. Thank you.